Generate unique random tokens and secure hashes. First, we need to generate a unique random token to identify the remembered user. This value is what we'll store in the cookie in the user's browser. So how do we generate a unique random string? There are several functions in PHP that will generate a random string. Rand will generate a random integer. Unique ID will generate a unique string based on the current time. And random bytes will generate a string of random bytes. This last function has the added advantage that the string will be cryptographically secure. This basically means that an attacker can't look at a list of strings generated by this function and predict what the next one might be, a weakness that the other two functions suffer from. To use the random bytes function, we simply call the function like this, passing in the length of the string we want. Now, we can't really store a string of bytes like this in a cookie. So we'll use the bin to hex function to convert these bytes into an ASCII string, like that. Next, we need to be able to create a hash of this token, and this is what we'll store in the database. As we did with passwords, we'll hash the token using a one-way hash function. So anyone who gets hold of the hash in the database can't get back to the original value. As we've seen, a hash function generates a hash value of the input string. In PHP, we have the hash function to do this. We can make this even more secure, however, by using a hash-based message authentication code, or HMAC. This is similar to what we saw when using salted hashes when storing passwords. HMAC combines the input string with a secret key, but in a much deeper way than with a salt, to create a much stronger hash value that is less likely to be tampered with. And in PHP, we have the hash HMAC function for this. To use the hash function, we simply call the function, passing in the hash algorithm we want to use and the string. The hash HMAC function adds a secret key to this, like that and the secret key is just a string of characters. It's recommended to have an 128-bit secret key, which is 32 characters. You could generate one yourself, or use a site like this to generate one for you. 